What's up, it's Ryan. In today's content review, we are breaking down the content strategy of Typefully, a social media scheduling tool that was first most popular with Twitter and X users, but has since expanded their reach to working with multiple different platforms. They also have some small business customers now, and so they're kind of reaching this audience of more than just creators, but also small businesses. Now, the first thing I notice when I land on Typefully's homepage is that they don't have a top menu. There's no navigation up here for me to click around, and that suggests that Typefully's made a design choice, kind of a stylistic decision here. But for me as a user, I expect to see a top menu. And from an SEO perspective, it does generally help to have a top header menu that directs people around to the pages that are going to help them decide if they want to actually become a customer of this tool in the first place. But from a value statement perspective, this is a pretty good header. Pretty easy to understand the subheader here, the best AI powered tool to draft, schedule, and collaborate on X, LinkedIn, Blue Sky, and Threads. That's pretty good. That makes a lot of sense to me. And they've got all the right sign up options here. They've got some credibility boosters of 220 thousand plus people who use the product and a scrolling list of companies that use their tools too. So they are doing a lot of things right here on the homepage, but let's go ahead and take a look at how it's panning out from a traffic perspective. We can see that they've done a really good job of growing their traffic. When you look back two years ago here, they were driving an estimated around 11,000 people to their website as a whole per month. And we can see here that they've gotten some pretty big jumps over the last couple of years with a peak here of around 75,000 estimated monthly visitors. And now fast forward to today, that's kind of fallen a bit. Now an estimated 49,000 or so. Let's start digging into exactly what it is that works so well for Typefully. And first up, it's going to be the tools. I had to scroll all the way down to their footer menu in order to locate it. Now that's not necessarily the worst thing ever, but from a UX perspective, I would want to see these linked much more clearly in the header menu on the homepage here. But pretty much right away, what I notice here on the Typefully tools menu is that they've only got four tools before the call to action to join Typefully, take it for a free spin. And then there's not really much other content on this page. Here's another separate tool page. I would consolidate this. There's no reason that these need to be separate. This is, if anything, just more confusing to users and to the search algorithms alike. This free AI tools directory page is also suffering from the same problem that their other free tool page is plagued by. They don't have much SEO rich content on this page. We've got a couple paragraphs right here that are maybe slightly tuned for some SEO purposes, but they're leaving so much potential traffic volume on the table by not making this free AI tools page geared towards driving traffic from their target customer pool. There's a lot of potential for how you could reorient this free AI tools homepage and also condense and combine with all their other free tools. I want to show you one of the examples of their free tools here, the LinkedIn text formatter. Now, I love the way it works. As you're typing text over here, it dynamically updates this preview box over here. You can see how it's going to look on mobile, how it's going to look on desktop. And they do some clever things. They spoof your engagement here. It helps the user envision the positive benefits that they're going to get from using a tool like Typefully. So this is doing some really smart stuff here from a tool perspective. But again, this this page is also lacking the type of comprehensive SEO rich content that's really going to make it drive meaningful traffic. Now they've done a little bit better with this page. We can see some frequently asked questions, some how to make your LinkedIn text bold, some best ways to format LinkedIn text, right? Like there's the foundation here of some SEO content, but if they just really put in some more effort into making this page more SEO friendly with chunkier content, they could drive significantly more traffic to this actual tool page. And this is also missing a video. The news isn't all bad though. This tool page is actually driving quite a lot of traffic and you can see that it is on the rise. It looks like they published it sometime in April, 2025. Here we are towards the end of November, 2025, and it's driving around 3,400 monthly visitors to the page, but it doesn't rank number one. It's stuck somewhere at the bottom of page one for LinkedIn text formatter. And we can see here that the estimated monthly search volume is 17,000 and often Ahrefs estimates are a little bit low on this type of stuff. So if Typefully was able to jump from position nine up to position one, two, three, they would be getting significantly more traffic. And they'd also probably be earning some more citations in AI platforms like ChatGPT. Now this brings us over to the Typefully blog, which unfortunately has lacked a lot of love and attention over the past couple of years. They're still publishing content. New stuff is coming out on this blog, but most of the posts have not been updated for that older content. The stuff that does actually target get really meaningful SEO search opportunities. And we can see here the blog traffic, it's kind of increased a little bit from where it was two years ago. Fast forward to today, there's some growth there, right? So nothing to be
be too negative about, but there's so much more room for growth based on the topics that they have pretty good content covering already. And here's one such example of content on the Typefully blog. Now, when I landed on this page, the table of contents was automatically expanded. So no offense, a terrible user experience to see nothing but a giant expanded table of contents when I land on a post is an immediate red flag to me as a user. I wanna see a much cleaner experience. They should have this collapsed as a starting point or do something else. You know, most companies of their size, they're gonna have something like a sidebar that has a table of contents that gets to scroll with you. And I wanna show you a few other things about these blog posts that are a bit lacking. They've got the author name and photo here, but this is not clickable. That's a major red flag. The Google SEO algorithms and also the AI LLM platforms, they want to see that content is connected to a real person. And maybe this is good enough, but if you click this through to the author's actual bio page and a collection of everything they've written, that's gonna be actually nailing the best practice here. The next thing that jumps out at me here is that this post hasn't been updated in well over a year. And this post goes after one of their biggest, most important keyword phrases. It's directly related to the core business, the product here. This is a topic that they should totally be ranking number one for and be the go-to citation in chat GPT. When I land here and I see that it's you know significantly old, I don't see X mentioned anywhere in the headline. That's a pretty big deal. X is now the name of Twitter. And so I would retitle this, how to schedule tweets and X posts, complete guide. And now we jump into the meat of this post. So I'll do a quick check here to see how many times the actual target keyword phrase, how to schedule tweets tweets is actually mentioned in the article. Now they're nailing this best practice here. They've got how to schedule tweets right here in the first sentence, first paragraph of this article. That's good. I like to see that. However, adding a free call to action that takes up so much visual real estate this high in the post. Now arguments could be made for keeping this here from a conversion perspective. And I get that, but personally as a user, I'm not ready to be immediately sold to. I'd want to see this call to action just a little bit further down the page, maybe even just below this kind of key takeaways section. As we scroll here, we see some good things, how to schedule tweets using X slash Twitter's native tool. That's really important to this particular topic that they actually do teach how to do this natively on X. We've got some nice screenshots though, and there's a lot of good things about this content. However, it does look just a little outdated. I know what the Typefully app looks like, and I believe it's a little more up to date than what these screenshot visuals look like that are at least about a year and a half old here. So we get to the bottom of this content. There's some something missing. The fact that they don't have a video on this topic that's embedded near the top of this post is a glaring red flag. People want to consume educational content like this, particularly in video format these days. We get to the end of this post and we get another Typefully call to action, which does look beautiful. And just to support my hypothesis here, we can see this article on how to schedule tweets was once driving around 500 people a month to the site. It has since decayed pretty dramatically down to around 165 per month. But this topic, has a lot more search demand. And what I would recommend Typefully to do is to give a substantive update to this article and also film a quick video. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but show people visually how to do this in video format. And so what I did was I went ahead and brought this piece of content over to my tool Refresh where we automatically update your existing content library to keep it at maximum traffic driving potential. And I imported it. We get an SEO score of 30. That's pretty low, especially for content that is so core to Typefully's business business model. Let's show how we would do a quick refresh of this post. I'm going to hit the suggestions buttons up here and see what AI suggests to improve this content and get it driving more traffic. We've got six recommendations here. We can see updating page title and meta description for 2025. I like that. I'd probably tweak this here in the additional instructions to say 2026. We want that to be geared and primed for the next year ahead. Add a key takeaway section. That's a no brainer to me as well. Address mobile scheduling limitations. I like that a lot too. Ask some frequent ask questions here, get them added into this content. I like that. I saw some FAQs on the page already, but we could do a little bit better job, I think, of targeting the real search queries based on this research here. And then we've got highlighting thread scheduling, bulk actions. I like that too. That makes a lot of sense. And then optimizing headings for better semantic SEO. I'm going to add all that to the plan. And I'm going to say here under the additional instructions, turn all 2024 and 2025 mentions 
into 2026, the upcoming year. So based on all these instructions here that we've got, I'm gonna hit the optimize button and behind the scenes, our AI is now compiling an extensive update to this article and boom, here we go. Our refresh is complete and we tuned this up to a 93 SEO score. We got almost every single important keyword phrase mentioned here in this article. So I'm pretty happy with how this went. Now there's some formatting stuff that I'd probably switch around myself, but for the sake of this example, let's say that we like this improvement that was made. I'm gonna just accept all so that we get this updated piece of content here. And I'm gonna say that this is pretty much ready to just be proofed, reviewed again, getting some custom screenshots in here as the type fully content team. I'm gonna to wanna to swing through, review all these graphics and see if I can get some fresh new ones of what the product actually looks like today to improve this. And then also make a video for this. I can't say enough how important it is to make a YouTube video that teaches people how to do this process at the same time as this written article does. And we got some nice 2026 mentions in here. We've got some additional best practices, some FAQs about scheduling tweets. I'm pretty happy with generally how this went. I'd take another half hour with this post, kind of tune it up, get the formatting dialed in correctly, and then it's gonna be ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and share this with the Typefully team. I'll just enable that share link, copy link, send it on over to them. All in all, Typefully's got a lot of good things going for them, but they're not doing everything they can to maximize their traffic driving potential. So I'd like to see Typefully really expand, refine, and go deeper on their free tools SEO strategy, because I know there's a lot more traffic sitting out there waiting for them to grab and bring to check out their product. Secondly, I'd make sure that I'm updating that library of existing content in addition to publishing some more in-depth, deeper content that really targets the keyword phrases that their primary target customers have. If you enjoyed this content review, please throw me a like, a comment, a subscribe. I appreciate all the support you're willing to give. It helps me reach more people and get the message out about how to improve our content online. If you'd like your website reviewed, please drop me a comment below sharing the link to your site or shoot me an email to ryan at itsrefresh.com. And if you'd like to take refresh for a spin, go ahead and sign up for a free trial at itsrefresh.com.